Hi, how's it going? I've been working on a, a GIF generator in Rust and I just wanted to kind of show off the start of the project. Um, so I'll just show what it does really quick. It's just a simple Rust program. Um, so I build it by doing cargo run. So it asks for the size of the image. What it does is, so each time I run this, I'll run it again. So each time I run it, it um, creates an array and randomly generates an animated GIF um, based on that array. Um, so the, the interesting thing is there's this array of GIF states and for each array of randomly generated um, color states, it will um, it will add a frame to the GIF. So I'm still getting used to the the types in Rust. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of Rust programming, so it's still a little bit rough. But hopefully um, this will be, I would want to turn this into a command line program that takes a bunch of various different flags and then allows you to output randomly generated animated GIFs based on those user defined flags. So you'd set the size, the, you'd set the colors, um, then set like there'll probably be a bunch of different like mathematical functions that will give you different styles of output. So the interesting thing is so right now I just have two colors from the color map. And as you can kind of see here, um, I can kind of show you. So Array one is all zeros, and so zero means the index in the color map array. So if we go down here to the color map array, all the um, so this is mapped to white. So this is a static array. So everything, if we set both frames to be array one, it would just be a white image. So let's try that. So you see here that writes nothing to the image file. Um, but if we go up here, we can actually manually edit this. So just for fun, let's do a little diagonal line across the image. Why didn't that work? Let's
Huh. Let me try just to kind of see what's going on. Let me try to change this. Change the base color. To, let's change it to gray. Oh, you know what? That's why it didn't work. I didn't. I didn't finish running the program. Awesome, it did both the things, so now it's no longer white. That's actually, that's pretty close to the background of the image editor, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually make that a little bit darker. thing about this is that I mean I'm almost halfway to a basic pixel art editor here um, it would be really um, I want to dive really deep into rust over the next couple months and doing a pixel art editor is definitely one of the projects I want to work on um, it will it would almost be possible to just do like a command line basic pixel art tool from user input and then build from there, so. Oh, do, 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 do. Let's see. So yeah, that's not very exciting. The, the random array thing is much more interesting. Um, so right now what I what I have is I have this um, so for iterator in um, it's taking me a while to get the for loops aren't really in the C or Java style so it's taking me a little while to get used to for loops in Rust but um, so this so is for iterator in zero to sixty four that random number. Um, unsigned, so you, everything in Rust is very specific types, so U8 is a, um, it's an integer that is unsigned, which means it doesn't have a sign, so it can't be negative, so a, a U8 integer is 2 to the power of 8, so 256 max characters, but the the domain is just 0 to 256, and you can't, it can't be like negative 64 or something. So we could add a three in here. Um, let's just see if that compiles.
that before. Okay, cool. So now, like in our random output, we're getting twos. I got rid of that error. Okay. So, hmm. I wonder if that's interesting because it's it's adding the the green color. Yeah, that's not defined. I wonder if that might be the transparent or error color. Um, well, let's see. I'm going to try to add a new, a, a new color for two values. Actually, just out of curiosity, I wonder what would happen if we like bump this up to nine. Huh, that's bizarre. It's um Oh, you know what? It's just adding these colors, and these colors are defined in this paint program. Interesting. Let's see. Bump this back to three. So two is this like weird pinkish color. So you can see, you see, um, I'm printing out below the two eights. There's the the random numbers that I'm generating get printed out. So you can kind of like match the. So zero is the gray, and two is the pink, and then one is the. So you see how, the you can just kind of like count through the image and see what's getting drawn. Um, so blue all right well I think that's it for this video I'm gonna try to make a lot more videos about the process of making this to try to keep me motivated to get something useful released um, thanks a lot bye